Hey guys, it's uh, Marshall here again, and we're going to pick up right where we left off. Uh, as you can see, this is actually still still uh, installing, and my copy is still progressing. Oh no, looks like .NET just finished. So, we can exit that, and of course we'll probably want to do a Windows update to make sure we got the latest .NET updates, uh, but I'm not going to do that for this. Um, do that another time. So, uh, as we left off in our last video, we have MySQL installed. Uh, on this Windows XP Professional, and now we're going to set up our Neverwinter Nights 2 database on it. So as I mentioned before, we're going to use uh, SQL YOG um, for this. This is a commercial product, however, there is a SQL YOG Community Edition. Now the Community Edition uh, is free, and it's very difficult to find. They don't want you to use this because they want you to buy the thing and use the Enterprise Edition, which has a bunch of extra features. So they make the Community Edition very difficult to find, but it is it is something you can find, and I will include it in the little package I'm going to put on my website anyway. So, um, yeah, you'll want to you'll get this and install it uh, on your computer. And we're going to install that not on our server. Well, I guess you could install it on your server if you want to log in to manage your database. So, yeah, that's definitely an option, too. I prefer managing my server remotely with my uh, SQL YOG and, and it's typically because I have more than one server, data, database server running and I like to manage them all with the one uh, tool. So I've got it up and running here and this is what it looks like. It's a little bit overwhelming at first because there's so many things that you can do with it but we'll go through what you need to do. So uh, once you've got this fired up you will go file and go new connection and we're going to create a brand new connection to our new um, to our new Windows XP uh, computer. Now, in my environment, I have my own DNS servers, so all of my machines have names that I can use. If you're not in that situation, you can uh, whoops, you can use the just use the IP uh, of your machine. Now, in my example, I've set the IP, and you you'll want to hard code your IPs, you don't want it changing on you all the time. Hard code your IP for any of your servers. Uh, mine is 192.168.10.35 so in my SQL YOG I could have a, uh, let's just click new and we call this anyway, you to database server. Uh, I could push my IP right here 35 like that, that's fine. Or in my case, I'm going to use the name uh, of the machine. Um, so, root is the super user. So, remember when we installed MySQL, we had a set a password for this root guy. So that's that's where this guy comes in, and the password that you entered when you set it up. And then we'll hit test, and yep, we connected just fine. So we've just connected to our MySQL server that we set up on our little Windows XP machine. Now we'll connect in. Now, over on the left side here, you'll see all your databases um, on your MySQL server. Uh, the user root has access to everything, so you'll see every database in here. Uh, when we set up our Neverwinter Nights 2 user, you're not going to see all these databases. Now, typically, in a, in a if you're doing this on Linux or whatever, the MySQL um, is, is not very secure. You actually got to go in and change passwords. You'll actually have to go in and modify and make sure that your that your root user has a password because by, by default it doesn't. So, But this wizard that we ran through sets all that up for you, so it's, it's, it's a lot better than the stock. So we're not actually going to have to do a whole lot more uh, to this. So what we're going to start right away we're going to select our server, and we're going to right click, and we're going to create a new database. And our database is going to be called NWN2, and you can call it whatever you like. Just remember that's our database name. Great, and there it is. There's our NWN2 database. Here are the tables that are in it. It doesn't have any right now. And uh, that's it. That's our database. All of our Neverwinter Nights 2 stuff is going to go into this database. Now, we don't want to use this root user uh, anymore. We don't want to use it for manipulating our Neverwinter Nights 2 database or, or using it in any of the tools. So what we like to do is create a, 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 a user 
inside MySQL just for number one rights too. So to do that, we'll go Tools, User Manager, Add New User. Now, this again, this isn't a Windows user or anything like that. This is just a user inside MySQL that we're going to use to connect to the database for Neverwinter Nights related things. So we're going to go to NW2 user. That's just his username. Host, the percentage mark on host. This means that NWN2 user is allowed to connect to this MySQL database from any other computer, including itself. So that's we're going to leave it at that. Uh, if you, you know, if you're really security-minded, you could lock this down to be like the local host only. Um, but <clears throat> for our purposes, we'll just we'll just allow this user to connect. Now we're going to create uh, from anywhere. We're going to create a password, nwn, and we're actually just going to call it nwn2 password. Again, set up your own password and just record it. And we're going to leave everything else uh, at stock because we don't want any limitations or anything on this user for uh, connections. So we hit create, and that's it. The user is now created. Now, of course, we have to give this user some rights. So as you can see here, after we hit create, the current user that we're manipulating is NWN2 user. And you can see he has no rights to the global MySQL um, installation. And we're going to keep it that way because we don't want this NWN2 user to have any rights to any of this stuff. We do, however, want specific rights to the NWN2 database itself and nothing else, just this one. Everybody gets uh, some access to information schema, but no access to MySQL, no access to test, and no access to any other databases that we may have here. Just this database. So we'll actually click right on it and then we'll set up some rights. We do want this user to be able to alter tables, create tables, create temporary tables, delete tables, drop tables, uh, index tables, insert into tables, select tables, and update tables. So these are the rights we want to give this NWN2 user. If we have a need to give them more rights or take off rights, um, we can come in here anytime and do that, but for pretty much most things this will cover everything that this user needs to do to your Neverwinter Nights 2 uh, database. So once you have that done you can save the changes and close. And that's it. Our user is now created. So the next part that we're going to do is we're actually just going to disconnect uh, from our, our MySQL installation here and try our, our new account. So we're going to just disconnect we're going to do new connection and we're going to change our username to nwn2 user with our nwn2 p-a-s-s-w-o-r-d and connect with this guy no problem save and connect now we're actually connected to our mysql database using the nwn2 user so as you can see the mysql and test databases are now unavailable so this is the user account and database that we're going to use for all the rest of the uh, MySQL related uh, things. Okay, now I'm going to minimize this because we're done with that for now. And it looks like our copy finished, so we don't need that. And we'll go back to our kit here. Okay, now the next thing that we're going to want to do is uh, create a share on this computer. So if we go in here, I think you just ignore all these in EULA stuff. Pay no attention to that stuff. That was just from the uh, software that we installed. But here's our three folders that we're mostly interested in. And, and if you want, you can delete these too, by the way. You don't actually need them. Um, it's just the uh, Visual C stuff. Uh, so here's our three folders that we're mostly interested in. Uh, the NWN install, the NWNX. Uh, install in our start script folder. So the first thing we're going to do is go into our NWN folder. And we're going to uh, look at a couple of things in here. Modules, this is an important folder. Hack, this is where our hack files go. Um, and of course any other like override if your module needs that kind of stuff. The, the interesting thing about this is that we're going to need to be able to access all of this from our 
Windows 7 computer, because our Windows 7 computer is where our tool set is, and this is where we're going to be developing. You, you don't want to develop your module using the tool set on your server. If you're doing that, it's a bad idea. It, it's going to cause you all kinds of problems. Develop out here on your Windows 7 machine and save this guy to just be your server. So, um, that said, we're going to want to be able to access these things because there's going to be oftentimes we're going to be copying data from our Windows 7 machine to our server, especially when we up, you know create updates and add new areas and things like that. We're gonna we're gonna be copying stuff here. So the easiest thing to do is to actually just share this folder out. So we're going to go in, right click, sharing and security, and we're going to share this folder. NWN is a great name. Permissions. We're going to give full access to it. Again, we're not giving any access to the internet or anything like that. This is just to our local network. If you are security minded, you probably already know how to configure this differently um, to just give particular users or yourself access. But for simplicity, we're just going to say everyone. Again, don't panic over that. It's not to the internet. It's just to other people in your house. So unless you don't trust your, your own household, <laughs> then, then you may want to change that to be a little bit uh, just to be a little bit more stingy. So uh, for our purposes though, we're just going to leave it at full and then OK. So you'll see the little hand symbol under that folder. Now we're going to use this a lot, so you're going you're gonna to see us use that um, as we go. So now that the rest of our stuff is done, we're, at, we're going to start configuring a couple of things uh, on our server. First thing we're going to do here for configuration is we're going to go into the NWNX folder and our My Module folder. Now you can rename this to whatever you want. You just need to make sure you know what it is, um, because you're going to have to conf enter that um, in your startup script. And here's our main NWNX configuration file. Now we've got a couple of plugins here. We've got the XP Bug Fix plugin. We've got uh, the XP Time uh, plugin, and of course the MySQL plugin uh, for NWNX. So we're going to configure the main NWNX first. So there's an any file here, and first thing we're going to do is set the path to where we put that NWN folder. That's here on D drive. Our temp location is here, and then our parameters. C drive, uh, sorry, D drive, and your module directory. Now we're going to change this here, and I'll explain why a little later. We're just going to call this my server. Okay, call this something descriptive. Um, try to avoid using spaces. Use underscores if you have to. Spaces just makes things complicated. Um, but call your uh, call your uh, module directory something meaningful. Uh, but don't call it the same name as what you're using on your tool set. And I'll explain why that is later. So we're just going to call it my server. Uh, you can also set some settings here, max clients, difficulty, public server. Your player password, this is a password that you're going to use. You can just remove this if you don't if you don't want a password on it. But this is a password to use for, uh, that players will use to connect. So uh, you'll want to hand that out to people if you do want to password it. But we're going to password it for now, um, just because we don't want random strangers logging into our server when we get it up and running. Uh, admin password, same thing. And then server name, or just whatever server name. This is something you can be descriptive with. Um, feel free to put your spaces and stuff in here. Uh, the maximum level uh, that you want players to be able to be, one party zero, and the port 5121. This is the default port, um, so you, you can leave that uh, as is. Now, the reason why we use this parameters here is, is actually it, it becomes more important when you're running multiple servers. Um, <clears throat> There's a configuration file in NWN's directory itself where you can configure a lot of these options. What you want to do is you want to put all your common uh, configuration options between all your different servers. If you have multiple servers running like I do, uh, put all of your common configuration options in that nwn2player.ini file in the NWN directory where some of these options are configured. Uh, put them in there as long as they're common to all modules. If different modules have different settings, you're going to want to put them in here for parameters. So for example, if I have a module that only allows six players, then I'll want to change that to six for that particular module. Um, 
if I have different passwords for different modules, I'll configure them here. Different names, different ports, because obviously if I have multiple servers, I'm going to want different ports as well. So that's why some options are here, and then some options are going to be in the NWN2 player. And we'll discuss that. We'll get into that too, because we do have to make some changes to that file too. So that's that. And the rest of this stuff, um, you can leave blank, same port number. Uh, so yeah, just leave the rest as is and then save it. And that part's done. Now we're going to come down here to our MySQL any file. And we're going to edit this. Now, our server, this is where we configure where our MySQL database is. So we're telling MySQL, hey, you can connect to our NWN2 database using these settings. Uh, our server here, again, if you don't have DNS, uh, and you're you can just use the IP address of your MySQL server, so you pop that IP address in there. The user name that you created for NWN2 in, in the SQL YOG that we did earlier, and its password. Like I said, I just used the NWN2 password. And schema. This is the name of the database. So when we're in here, that's this, NWN2. So that's just the database name. Schema is just another word for layout of the database. So that's what that's for. So uh, happily, I've, mine are all fine. I don't have to change anything, but you can change yours. And sometimes when you're having trouble and, you, and you're wondering if there's a problem with your database, you can change this log level to 2 and it'll log a lot more information for you. But uh, just leave it at 1 for normal, uh, you know, small amount of, of logging. So save that, and uh, that will take care of the SQL part of NWNX. Now what we're going to do is if you remember in our NWNX any file we created a we, we called our module directory my server right here. Okay. We're going to actually use that right now. We're going to go up and up to our NWN directory and we're going to go into the modules directory and we're going to create a new folder. And we're going to call it my server this is where we're going to keep our module. So when we work on our module in the toolset and we upload it to our server, we're going to put it in here. And this folder is not going to match the one on our toolset. Now the reason for that is when you connect to a server using your Windows 7 machine as a player, uh, what's going to happen is it's going to it's going to actually read the name of this folder off the server and then it's going to create this folder locally on your Windows 7 computer. If that folder already exists there's a really good chance that everything in it is going to get deleted when you connect as a player to your own module for the first time. So a lot of people, you'll see, you'll see a lot of first time people do this, they'll, they'll create a server, set it up, this here would be like my module and then they wanted a tool set locally under machines called my module and then they log into play and they play it for a little while and then they exit and they go to bed and they wake up the next morning and they load up the tool set and their module's gone. They don't know why. That's why. <laughs> so don't name those the same. The one and you'll see where we're going to create this a little later, but uh, make sure this is different than the one on your uh, on your Windows 7 machine. Okay, that's uh, about the 20 minute mark, so I'm going to stop this video here and uh, start in on the next clip.